Hello guys and welcome back to Smart Spain Information Technology Blog. Today we are continuing reviewing a Linux operating system and how we can use command line. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how we can use and understand the file permission and ownership. So, if you're interested, stay with me and I'm going to show you how. But before we're going to jump into command line and start using the file permission and the ownership, I want to give you guys a brief explanation what is exactly file permission and the ownership. After you have worked with the Linux for a while, I know that you are almost sure to get a permission deny message. Permission associated with the files and directories and the Linux were designed to keep users from accessing other user private files or information and protect important system files. The 9 bits assigned to each file for permission to find the access that you and others have to your files. Permission bits for regular files appear as, as so. As you can see, R standing for read. W states write and X stands for, for, for execute. And here's a brief ex explanation what is it exactly each, um, each byte can do with that. So, um, those bits are used to define who can read, write, or execute the files. Of the 9 bits permission, the first 3 bits apply to the owner permission or user which in this case, 1, 2, 3, 3 bits, that's the owner's permission. The next trip applied to the group permission, which is this one, 1, 2, 3, it's a group permission. And the last one, 3, apply to all other. In that case, you have 3 hyphens, but in your way, you can see read, write, execute. It all depends from the permission that has been assigned to other users. The R stands for, for read as I told you before and the W stands for the write and the X stands for, for the execute permission. If a dash, if a dash um, appears instead of the letter, it means that permission is turned off for that associated read write execute bit. So in that case, for this example, all the permission is, <coughs> is uh, all permission is disabled. For this other user, as you can see, dash, dash, dash. And because files and directories are different types of elements, read, write, and execute permission on the file and directory means different things. For instance, uh, for the file, for the file, the read stands for the first R letters means view what is inside of the file. The W it means change the file's content, rename it or delete it, and X stands for or meaning in the file system, it means run the file as a program. So for the directory, it means a bit different way. For the directory, R means see what file and subdirectories it contains. W means add files or subdirectories to directory, remove files or directory from the directory. And execute X stands for for directory means change to directory as the current directory, search through the directory, or execute a program from the directory. For this type of tutorial, I'm not gonna explain you how you can understand and use binary, but you should be able to read it the binary code. So I'm gonna give you a quick uh, explanation what is like in this part. So zero. As you can see, in decimal, it's 0 plus 0 plus 0, it means 0. And as you can see in the second line, you see 0, 0, 1. The first one is corresponding to 1. And the two couple 0 is going to be 0. In that case, 0, 1, 0 means 2. It's a binary code. 0, 0. And the next one, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, it means 1 corresponding to 1. And next one, uh, from the left, one corresponding to two, and as you can see, the the next example is going to be one zero zero. It's going to be a zero with a zero, zero with a zero, and the last one one is corresponding to four. So, I hope that you understand the binary code and you can read it so that you can easily understand how you can count or uh, assign a permission 
uh, to one folder or um, directory. So let's go ahead and jump to into command line. And as noted earlier, you can see the permission for any file or directory by tapping the list command space dash ld extension. So in my case, I gotta do it this way: list space dash ld hit enter, and as you can see that I have show up that uh, I'm right now in directory. How do I know that at in directory uh, I see the first letter starting from the D? D it means it's a directory. Whenever you see dash first one like over here or like over here, it's a file file type. In my case, it's directory type, and I have permission write write execute, and for the for the owner and for the user has it has just execute and write permission, and for the other. Uh, read, uh, read, execute. And for the other, it has permission read and execute. And here it was. Uh, here is a pretty much good example. In my case, it's a um, pi folder, pi pi directory, pi folder. Um, the size of the folder, uh, what it was create, uh, the last when it was last logged on to this folder which is October 11 which is today day and the exact time from the last login to this folder so let's assume that I have a file with the name a file and I would like to change the permission for this particular file so what should I do and I'm gonna show you guys how we can change permission for this particular file so we got to change permission with the sum command which is stands for change mod change mod command after that space and I want to assign the the one of the highest permission for this particular file so as I said before one of the highest permission is the seven and I want to assign the one of the highest permission for read one of the highest permission for write and one of the highest permission for execute so how can I do this I'm just gonna type by a number seven 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 and the name of the file that i would like assign this particular permission and as i said before the name of the file is going to be file that i have created previously and when i hit enter i can see that i have assigned the permission for this particular file and if you want to check the permission that we have just assigned for this particular file we have to type just ls space and l to see the all of the files that have permission for uh, each of them that that we assign for for instance the default directories we don't touch it in my case so we have created the file we here we know the time when it was created, the date, and the day. We know that it doesn't have any size, which is in the bytes, and we know that it was created in the Pi directory with the Pi. And we know that it was <coughs> have a battery got one, and we know that by dash in the front of the uh, in the front of the R permission, we know it's a file. Whenever you see D, it's a directory. Whenever you see a dash, it's a file. So now we have fully, highly um, <coughs> created permission for this file. How do we know that? We know that it's RWX, RWX, and RWX. It means that for the owner, our user, we have highest permission. For the group, we have a highest permission. And for the other, we have a higher permission. Okay, let's assume that I have been asked from my manager or from uh, my co-workers that I have to change permission for uh, for some particular uh, user that has a file uh, which has to have some permission, restricted permission for some particular uh, rights, right? So let's say I want to change the permission for this particular uh, file, which is the name file. So I would like to change the permission. The first one for for the for the user or owner is gonna be a highest one. For the group, I want to change it just read 
let's say read and execute like over here and for the other I want to change let's say read and execute how are we gonna do this in this case so we're gonna use this particular um, <clears throat> this particular task so for uh, for both for group and other I'm gonna assign the number five and for the uh, owner or user I'm gonna assign the number seven which is the higher permission so we have to repeat the same procedure that we did it before with a change mod command space that goes 755 and the name of the file which is in our case file and as I said if you want to just look at all of them now we can see that I have changed the permission for this particular file uh, for the owner or user it's going to be a file which is dash read write execute then goes read and execute read and execute so it's exact the same way like we have been asked over here and same like over here for the group let's assume that i want to remove all of the permission from this particular file so if you want to remove all of them we have to assign them all zeros which is no permission like saying over here so it should be treat that triple dash so let's assign it by uh, change mod command space zero 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 and file name and now we can see that we have removed all of the permission for this particular file we know that it's a file because we see the dash right in front of it and triple dash triple dash and triple dash which means there is no any other permission has been assigned for this particular file uh, the change mod command also can be used recursively for example suppose you want to give an entire directory structure 755 permission starting at a pi uh, and in the file folder directory to do that you can do by using dash capital R option and let's see how it's gonna work so let's say I want to create create let's say I created the file with the file name uh, I let's say I created uh, uh, the file directory I'm sorry and I want to change permission for this particular directory not a file and how are we gonna do this let's uh, use a change mod command change mod command space dash capital R space and I'm gonna sign this and I'm gonna sign uh, uh, for this particular directory which is named file uh, all rights which is 777 and space and the name of this directory so whenever you click how we should see that we have assigned all the rights and it's highlighted in green one because it has all the privilege of the admin to read write execute read write execute none of them none of them has all none of them has the same rights as you can see all the default folders desktop documents downloads my files pictures public etc and uh, all of them has owner has just a full right but the <clears throat> other and a group they have just read and execute read and execute but if you see the file has highlighted with a green color which means that it has all the privilege as the admin okay let's assume that I want to remove this permission because I don't want to sound with a privilege of the uh, with the root privilege they have right to modify delete copy or execute uh, in this particular directory so I want to remove this permission from this particular file so how we can do this so in my case I'm gonna use sudo because I'm remotely connected to my Linux operating system and I have to assign the privilege the root privilege for this particular uh, um, <clears throat> directory because if not if I'm not gonna use the sudo command it's not gonna work for me but in your case if you are using uh, if you work right with a, a root privilege or you work <clears throat> right on uh, 
on uh, on your uh, Linux operating uh, Linux operating system, not like I am remotely, then it should be fine. So I'm gonna repeat my change mod command uh, dash capital R, and I'm gonna assign uh, non non permission for all of the uh, for all uh, for the owner, like for the user, for the group, and other and space, and I'm uh, gonna uh, point to which directory I want to remove this permission. And whenever I click list. You have to see that I have removed all of the permission for this particular file. And there is no any more highlights for this file. Pretty much it, guys. And I hope you understand how you can manage file permission and ownership with your Linux operating system. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel or hit likes. And I'll see you guys in the next part.